everybody, it's Michael again with 4G Woodcrafts. Today I'm going to be installing the gantry onto the X-Frame of the Bob CNC Evolution 4. Um, one thing I want to start off by doing is the rods. Uh, we want to make sure they um, are lubricated. Uh, they do have some residue from the packing, I think, on there. So just like uh, the ones on the uh, Z-axis, I use uh, just dry lube with Teflon. It's, it's for these kind of tools. I put it in a paper towel and spray it right in the middle and just put it on there. That It makes the, the bearing slide on there uh, fairly easily. Alright, and once you do that, slide this first one in the top of the left side and make sure it, it it's going to be a tight fit on these it doesn't snap into it though it retains them so you do need to slide it through you cannot snap it down in all right and what i do is i go about halfway back uh, on this side and i'll do the same with the other side go about halfway back and uh, then I'll show you how I get the gantry on there. Again, the other side, put some lube on there. Okay. Put it through here. Again, I put that about halfway back. Uh, they're both at the same point. And then, at this point, what you do is you're going to pick up the gantry, lower it down in between the slots so you get everything on there to where you get the, the bearings where they're going to be. And be careful not to put any pressure on anything. And then you're just going to roll the bearings onto the rail now it's sitting on there and then you can finish pushing these back to the back sorry about the noise I'll uh, try to turn that down in the video All right, and then you should have it flush on front and back. Do the same thing with the other side. All right, so as you see, now you've got the top rail all, all the way back. Now, the next part, what you have to do is, and it was one of the steps in there, is make sure that these are all rotated uh, as far out as possible um, or as far down as possible and then uh, you make a mark on the spacer the eccentric spacer on the outermost uh, tick mark and we're going to use those to actually tighten it up to the rods all right so we'll go ahead and install the lower ones As you're putting it in there, just make sure it's going through the supports. And then for the last one. All 
All right, so next we're going to be adjusting the lower eccentric spacers to tighten the uh, the wheels uh, or the sorry the bearings onto the rail. Uh, again, you have to use a 13 millimeter wrench, and what you're going to do is rotate the the right one. You're going to rotate uh, counterclockwise. The left one you're going to rotate clockwise. So once you have a wrench on there, you're going to move it up. And what you're looking for is once it gets up against the rail, right now I can rotate this bearing without the gantry moving. Once it's at the right position, you should be at like the, the top ones. As, as you move this, you shouldn't be able to move the bearing without the gantry moving with it. really close. You just need a little bit more. And what you want to try to do is hold the gantry in place and see if you can rotate uh, the bearing. If you can still rotate it, it needs a little bit more tightening. And once you do that, you're going to want to mark where you have it on this side and do the same adjustment on the other side. And then go ahead and adjust the other side. Once you have that adjusted, make sure that one is tight too. You just want to make sure you cannot move the bearing without uh, the gantry moving forward or back. And then do the same thing on the other side. Alright, so once we have both of those tightened up to where they're on the rails good, uh, you'll see it slides back nice and easy even if you do it from one side. When everything is tight, it should move very smoothly. So the next thing you need to do is tighten the lower bearings. And the way you do that, you use a 10 millimeter socket or wrench and a Phillips head screwdriver. And if you look in here, there's holes right here that correspond to those. So you'll be able to uh, put the screwdriver in there to hold the Phillips head screw of the bearing assembly. So you can use a, a wrench and tighten up the outside uh, lock nut. And this is the only reason I don't have the spoil board on there yet. I did mark it and drill it, but I did not attach it because I knew we needed to do this step. I always like to go back and double check and make sure they're tight. Alright, and I will tell you that it's way easier to do with the spoil board not on there. I had to adjust them on my E4. Uh, with it fully assembled and I ended up doing it with a I have an angled Phillips head wrench um, but just make sure it slides back and forth and that's it for that portion alright next we're gonna put the belt on uh, for the left side of the x-axis and the way you do that is you take one of these pieces right here 
and you feed the belt through there just a little bit and you take one of the short uh, belt retainers put it on there to where the teeth engage tight fit but fits in there like that all right and then you want to make sure the 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 thicker piece on this goes towards uh, the shorter end of this so if you look look at this you've got the the thicker part of this and the shorter part of this feed that in like that And then what we're going to do is feed it into the uh, into the, the X assembly out. And the the ridges are going to go uh, on the uh, bottom. So you feed it through the bottom hole at the back of it. Pull it through all the way until your retainer comes through and then uh, your assembly is uh, your rail stop goes at the end like that now then you feed it through and uh, wrap it around the the bearings inside all right i'm going to try to show you the best way i can on how this is going to route um so the uh you feed the belt in through this hole and what you're going to do first is you're going to take it under the pulley so see the belt the teeth are facing the bottom, and so I've got it under the pulley, and then you're going to take it over the pulley, and then around, or the bearing, sorry, that's the bearing. It's going around the bearing, and then you're going to feed it So after you go around the bearing, you feed it around the actual pulley with the teeth on it. So you should see that. Alright, next we're going to attach the front of the belt. The way we do that, we take another one of the, the rail stops and you're going to put two of the M6 bolts through it and then put an M6 nut on each one Alright, and then you're going to put an additional nut on each one, and that's how we're going to make the adjustments. Alright, and then, so with it like this, you're going to put the long belt retainer in through that hole, and then put it into the top hole here. All right, so once you have that, you're going to put the belt into the belt retainer. Make sure it seats all the way in. 
get it as far into the retainer as possible. Now you'll notice at this point the belt is kind of loose, but uh, what we're going to do is later on we'll adjust that out and it will uh, it'll get the belt tight. All right, that's in a future step. And with that, uh, the other side goes the same way. Um, I'm not going to record that side, but uh, the other side does the, the same process. Uh, all right, that's all I got for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.